Hi, I'm Skyler. I'd like to show you how you could use your iPad as a keyboard with your MacBook Pro. I'm going to use an application called Better Touch Tool for the Mac and an app for my iPad called BTT Remote. What you're looking at right now is BTT Remote. As you can see, I've got a lot of shortcuts to control things like screen brightness, volume, and some basic controls like spacebar, escape, tab, etc. On the right hand side you can actually see my file browser so I could tap desktop here and see my desktop folder. If I tap done we can see some global actions I've configured like I can start a screen capture with one tap and if I tap running apps in the lower right I can see everything that's currently running. This gray area is actually my trackpad and you can see that it's showing two cursors right now one, the big white spinning thing, is my finger on the iPad as it tracks motion, and the large cursor on the screen is the reflection of that. So I'm going to open up Safari, tap Bring to Front. Okay, so now we can see Safari, and I'm going to tap in the URL bar there, and tap to see my keyboard, and now on my iPad I can see the, the keyboard, and if I start typing, I'm actually controlling my Mac with my iPad. Really, really cool. I'm impressed by the performance of this application. I think it runs quite well. And the things that you can do with Better Touch Tool on the Mac are pretty extraordinary, like customizing your own gesture-based commands for all sorts of complex tasks, especially video editing, photo editing, uh, automated workflows, all sorts of things. So I highly recommend this combination since it only costs $1.99 and it works really well. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.